Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice polynomial system. We have x cubed plus 3xy squared equals 76 and y cubed plus 3x squared y equals 49. So I'm going to go ahead and present the solution and then I'll show you a graph which looks pretty interesting. All right, great. Let's go ahead and solve the system. First of all, uh, you probably noticed that when these ter terms are all put together, they're going to make up something nice. So we're going to be using the binomial theorem by adding these two equations side by side because that's going to give us x cubed plus 3xy squared plus y cubed plus 3x squared y equals 76 plus 49, which is equal to 100, 125. So having 125 on the right hand side is nice because it's a perfect cube. So everything is perfect. Now let's go ahead and arrange these terms so they look better. x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared plus y cubed equals 125. Now if you said that the left hand side is equivalent to x plus y quantity cubed, then you're right. That is a perfect cube by the binomial theorem. The coefficients are 1, 3, 3, and 1. You know, the Pascal's triangle gives you those numbers, so on and so forth. But by setting this equal to a perfect cube, we have a perfect cube on the right-hand side and the left-hand side, so everything is perfect. Now, at this point, we can go ahead and cube root both sides. And as you know, there's only one number, one real number, whose cube root is or whose cube is 125, and that number is 5. So from here we can conclude that x plus y is equal to 5 if we're dealing with real numbers. Now from here we can do the following. We can go ahead and just isolate one of the variables, say y, and write it as 5 minus x, and then go ahead and substitute this in one of the equations. That's what we're going to do. And to remind you what the original equations are, we had x cubed plus 3xy squared equals 76 and y cubed plus 3x squared y equals 49. Awesome. Now, which one are we going to use? Really, it doesn't matter. But I want to use the second one because it is y squared, not y cubed. So I don't want to cube 5 minus x in other words because I'm too lazy. So let's go ahead and use this one, the second equation. And let's see what happens. We're going to replace y with 5 minus x. So we have to square it and then set the whole thing equal to 76. Let's go ahead and expand everything. We get x cubed plus 3x times 25 minus 10x plus x squared equals 76. And then let's go ahead and distribute x cubed plus 75x minus 30x squared plus 3x cubed equals 76. And now let's go ahead and combine like terms and put everything on the same side, subtracting 76 from both sides. So that gives us 4x cubed minus 30x squared plus 75x minus 76 equals 0. And this is a cubic equation, so we can use the cubic formula. First of all, divide both sides by 4, and then get rid of the x squared term by making a linear substitution, so on and so forth. That's a long process. So before doing any of that, let's go ahead and use RRT. What is RRT? RRT is the rational root theorem. So it basically tells us if there are rational roots, then those are going to be of the form of the divisors of the constant term, which is 76. Of course, there's a plus minus sign divided by plus minus divisors of the coefficient of x cubed, which is 4. So we're basically going to be considering all the divisors of 76 and all the divisors of 4 plus and minus. And then by dividing all of those in, dif those in different combinations, everything by everything pretty much, we're going to get lots of candidates, and one of them hopefully will work. And in this case, to save you all the trouble, because that's going to be super time consuming, fast forward, and I'll tell you what it is. x equals 4 works. Awesome. It's not too hard to find. You just got to keep trying. So since x equals 4 works, we can go ahead and do the long division or the manipulation or whatever you want to call it, synthetic division 
artificial division, whatever, you can go ahead and divide this polynomial 4x cubed minus 30x squared plus 75x minus 76 by x minus 4. And that's going to give you another polynomial, which is 4x squared minus 14x plus 19. So knowing that 17 is divisible by 4 is kind of makes it makes it a little easier. And also 4x cubed divided by x is 4x squared. So the only thing you need to find is the coefficient of x, which can be also found by setting it equal to like a bx and then, you know, cross multiplication, so on and so forth. So that's not too hard to do. So that is our quadratic and that's our linear factor. So we got two factors and we already know x equals 4 is a solution. So let's go ahead and set this equation equal to 0 and find the roots from here and the roots are going to be x equals 7 plus minus 3 root 3i divided by 4. So we don't get any real solutions from here because the discriminant is less than 0. We only get one real solution and that is x equals 4. And this almost brings us to the end of the video but I got to show you what the graph looks like and then we'll finish up. All right, great. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graph. So these are really nice curves, by the way, and very interesting curves. And there seems to be some type of symmetry here. So kind of like a rotation or reflection and whatever, so on and so forth. But you get the idea. They have the same shape. Obviously, X and Y are kind of interchanged, but the numbers are different, you know, a little bit. But anyways, you get the idea and notice that these curves are only going to intersect at a single point and that is at 4 comma 1 which indicates x equals 4 is the only real deal. I mean the real solution. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care and bye bye.